Welcome to Bard's Avon. For never was a story of more woo than this of Juliet and her Romeo. On our way to Bard's Avon. For never was a story of more woo than this of Juliet and her Romeo. <laughs> to Stratford-upon-Avon, William Shakespeare's birthplace. He was a famous playwright, also known as the Bard of Avon. So we're here about to reach his birthplace where he was born. Here at William Shakespeare's birthplace, Stratford upon Avon. This he is known as the Bard of Avon, and this is believed to be William Shakespeare's house in Stratford. He was born in 1564. He was a famous playwright, and actor, and poet. He has introduced about 1,700 words in English. Shakespeare has written many plays, such as. As You Like It, Macbeth, The Tempest, Romeo and Juliet, A Midsummer Night's Dream and many such more. So we're going to have a look around his town today where Shakespeare grew up. Shakespeare's birthplace is a 16th century half-timbered house. It is situated in Henley Street. This is the house just in front of me. Romeo, Romeo, oh gentle Romeo, oh it is my love, tis but thy name that is my enemy. 
parting is such a sweet sorrow. Hence will I go to my ghostly father's cell. Let me tell you a little about Shakespeare's life. Shakespeare married Anne Hathaway, with whom he had three children. Between 1585 and 1592, he began a successful career in London as an actor. He was also a writer and part owner of a playing company called the Lord Chamberlain's Men. Have a look at a few of Shakespeare's play scripts. Perform the work of Shakespeare and Shakespeare's contemporaries. Over one million visitors come to RSC each year. They are the only on site theatre company with their own armory like belts, breastplates, and gauntlets. They reach out to around 1,200 schools each year, spreading their education work on Shakespeare to classrooms. We are here outside the Royal Shakespeare Company. It's currently closed, but there are lots of drama productions that happen here. RSC stands for Royal Shakespeare Company. So, Spigbo, I shall read a small part of a famous play written by Shakespeare called A Midsummer Night's Dream. Once in Athens, the law decreed that a daughter must marry the man of her father's choice or be punished. Consequently, Aegis had brought his daughter, Hermia, to the court of Theseus, Duke of Athens. For refusing Demetrius, the man of his choice, Hermia actually loved Lysander. Theseus was sympathetic and gave Hermia four days to choose between love and duty. Unable to part, Lysander and Hermia told their friend, Helena, they would flee Athens. So that very night, they fled to the woods away from the city and its cruel law. Did you enjoy that? So that was a part of Midsummer Night's Dream, a very famous play about four lovers. And I spoke in a bit of a Shakespearean language. Okay. Now we are about to go to the Holy Trinity Church. This is where Shakespeare was baptized and buried. Shakespeare was but buried here. Yeah. Right. You go out, you see if you can see the camera. <laughs> <laughs> 
Now I shall read a small part from the longest play written by William Shakespeare, Hamlet, Prince of Denmark. Tis given out that sleeping in mine orchard a serpent stung me, but know thou noble youth, the serpent that did sting thy father's life, now wears his crown. O oh, my prophetic soul, my uncle, as Hamlet, Prince of Denmark, kept watch with his friend Horatio on the battlements of Elsinore Castle, his father's ghost appeared to him. The dead king told Hamlet that he had murdered by his brother. He had been murdered by his brother Claudius and urged Hamlet to take revenge. Thank you everyone for watching my video today. I hope you enjoyed visiting Stratford-upon-Avon, seeing the Avon River and even Shakespeare's birthplace. It brought back so many memories. As a child, I visited this place and today as a grown adult and even taking Spigbo here and even making a video. Drama has always been very, very passionate to me and William Shakespeare and the Shakespeare in English has always been very close to my heart. I have acted in his play scripts. I've narrated sonnets from his famous poems and I've always loved his work. I hope you enjoyed all the information and educative facts that I've shared with you through my video. Please do share it with your friends and I hope you enjoy watching all my stories. Please do like, subscribe and share and I promise to make good content next time as well. See you next time. Bye for now.